Well, it's the mouth of the south, and I had to come back with part two of my video about um, these clothes. I promised I was going to try these clothes on. Well, at least one outfit I'm going to try on because the other one I can't even get on. So I wanted to show you. I also looked in my closet. And I found that I had two other dresses that I had bought probably sometime in April. I bought these off of Amazon um, because they were cute, super cute dresses. They did not have, they weren't coming from one of those fashion medias or zoo lilies or whatever they're called. So this was a dress I bought. It was for a black and white event. And so it has this nice cute little bow on. I hope you can see it. It has a really cute bow on it. It has a split down the middle and you can see the split it has like fabric in it. Move out. And then so you have, I should have known something when this came in the mail and it had these, this, 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 um, let me see if you can see it. It had this right, this, um, tag on it. And I don't speak Korean. This is either Korean, Japanese. I don't know. It's some kind of these, but it's something I don't understand. And it could be saying, Ooh, child, we got you. Thank you for buying our junk. Cause this is exactly what it is. So I put this dress on and I only got one leg. Let me make sure y'all see this real good. Let me just angle this camera down here so you can see it. So here you go. You got this one, I got one leg in. That's, that's the whole dress. This one leg. And so then if I put the other leg in, you have this, and it's got this spandex, my dog even don't like it. You have the spandex material. Now, you put this spandex material on, this is supposed to be a peep split. You're just supposed to be able to peep and see the white in it. No, this is not what you're supposed to see. You're not supposed to see this much fabric. This is not good because the dress is too small. It's like five sizes too small. And so here, then you got these sleeves. Sleeves not right. And they deceived me because they had these people on there, on their marketing campaign that they had that looked like me. They were curvy and like me. And so I said, oh, well, if they can wear it, so can I. Don't even think that you can because you can't. And so here you have this dress that's so tight, so tight. Look, look, look at my bow. Look at this. Look at this. I can't even get, I would not be able to even get a zip. So if you ever see me with this dress on, know that I have lost a lot of weight, praise God, because right now I cannot wear it. And I think this one isn't as bad as the others, but nevertheless, it's too, it's just too small and it was deceiving. So no, this is a no for me on this dress. This is say no to this dress, please. Because this right here, Mm, Jesus, don't wear it, don't wear it. So this is my other dress right here. I got this dress and I can't even try it on to even show you. First off, look at this. The zipper, don't even zip all the way down. Look at that, it's stuck, got fabric in it, and everything. And so this was really cute, I saw it online. It had this lacy, I like lace. But the lace didn't like me on this dress. So I have this dress, it's too small. I don't know what, I think it's probably like a size four or five. No, this is not gonna fit. So let me just go ahead and put my arm in. That way, this is how I can test stuff if it's gonna kind of fit me a little bit. Mm -mm. Look at my arm. It's so tight, I feel like I gotta turn it on. It's just that tight. So if something is that tight, you know you're not gonna, the rest of it is not gonna be right because this is too tight. So no, this is a say no to this dress because this is not gonna fit. Um, and this polyester, funny looking material, no, bad quality. This is, oh, no. On that one. And then you know my little dress that I had bought, the high-low dress that, you know, was um splitting down the back. Well, it's already split all the way down the back. Oh, Lord, it's splitting in the front now. That's terrible. So now I'm going to turn the dress around. I put the back in the front where the split was, where the split occurred. And I turned this into what my grandma used to call a house coat. Mm -hmm. You can wear this in the house, in the house only. And let me tell you, some rules to wearing it in the house. Make sure the lights are always off. Pitch dark. Make sure nobody else is there with you. Mm -hmm. Never take it outside. Because this right here, you don't want people to see this. This right here, you do not want people to see this. People will think that you are crazy walking around with this. This is for a quick, you want to grow on, you may make it into some lingerie or something. But you must going to be by yourself because I'm trying to tell you. This right here will get you out of a relationship. Don't wear this. Don't wear this. Um, you can also repurpose this and use this for a nice dust rag, as I once said. You just spray, use pledge, you know, and put it on here. Spray and wipe it away. The other thing you can use it for is a head scarf. That's what I wanted to use it for. I got to work on this a little bit more because I feel like it could probably work. You know, you probably can take it, swing it over the top of your chair like so. Oh, you can you probably use this as a costume. It is. It is. Oh, make it into something else. Okay. It's so many different things you can do with this rag. And then you put it on your head, you know, you gotta make sure it's nice and tight. You know, wrap it all around. Oh, Lord, I feel like I'm fighting with it. Lord. Wrap it all around real nice and tight. 
you know, and then, you know, do something really cute with it. You could do a lot with it, but you just gotta work with it. So just let me do a couple little tutorials on how to wrap this hot mess. But also, if you can't do nothing else with it, and you have an animal, come here, Belle. If you have a dog, you probably could use this as something that your dogs could sleep on. I, I, she may want to sleep on this, and she may not. Here you go, Belle. That is something that she can, she don't even want it. She don't even want it. Dogs have a sense of knowing what's, what's not good. And this right here, oh, wait a minute. That's the only purpose it's probably going to serve. It's for a dog to sleep on. And she probably going to tear it to shreds. Because that's all that it is. It's shreds, okay? So I'm just saying all this to say, don't buy from those people on the side of that timeline or your Instagram. I forgot they were on Instagram. So... Bias beware. Share this with your friends and your family and your sister girls and all that kind of good stuff because nobody should be out looking like this. And if you see them with them on raggedy clothes on, you tell them they need to be ashamed of wearing that stuff because it is a hot mess and they need to buy local. They need to buy from these creative people. We got so many people right now that are doing awesome things in the fashion industry. And I'm not a fashion person. I'm not a fashion blogger. I just like to buy stuff that I like. I don't care where it comes from as long as I can wear it and it looks good on me. I'm not going to wear anything that's too tight. I'm not going to be able to sit down in a dress and then it splits open. How embarrassing. So make sure you got some people that know what they're doing when they're, they're doing fashion. So if somebody else knows of any reputable sites, please just tag them below. I don't mind supporting good, nice, economical clothing because I'm an entrepreneur. So I can't be going out here buying no Prada and Nada and Chanel and anybody else. I can't do that for myself right now. But soon and very soon that'll be coming. But I'm just saying, share, like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, if I find anything Thing, trust me that I don't like I will definitely share it with you deuces and live out loud